What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, we have another Key Forge tournament video for you, brought to you from Torchlight Games and Hobbies in Burlington, Ontario, Canada. And thanks to these people who donate to the channel at patreon.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. Thank you for the donations. If you like the work I do here and want to see it more regularly, please consider donating by clicking the link in the description below and heading on over to Patreon. Thank you to everyone that supports the channel. And also thank you to everyone that subscribes here on YouTube. We have hit 5,000 subscribers. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and help this channel grow. Thank you so much. All right, we got Sigil Brotherhood on the right side. We got Alfredo playing Shadows Untamed Sanctum. Myself on the left playing the same deck you've seen in the last two videos, uh, Sanctum, Brobnar, and Untamed. I was first player, started off with a Fuzzy Gruen, gave my opponent an Amber. And it looks like he chucked away to his discard pile a Inspiration. Did not want to play it since he doesn't have any creatures to ready and use. And uh, didn't give him an Amber. Just trying to get the Sanctum out of his hand there. But that Sigil Brotherhood gave him an Amber. Has an Omni, Sacrifice Sigil Brotherhood for the remainder of the turn. You may use a friend, You may use friendly Sanctum creatures. And I got a Nature's Call there. Got an Amber off that. Return up to three creatures to their owner's hands, which uh, gives me a Fuzzy Gruen there back to hand, which, of course, I play right back out. Gain two more Amber and give my opponent another Amber. So I'm now sitting on six with check on the second turn. And he's going to purge me with a Harder, th harder They Come. And Commander Remuel hitting the board. And he's playing a, uh, what's that, Doorstep to Heaven. Uh, for either player, if they're at uh, 6 Amber, I believe they reduce down to 5. Alfredo on the right has 4 Amber. I'm now sitting at 5, of course. And back over to me. Sound the horns with Brobnar turn. Gain Amber off that. Back into check there with 6. I'm going to start discarding off the top of my deck. Find a Smash. Put it in my hand, then obviously put it into play. Stun a creature. I stun Commander Remuel across the board. A troll comes in. And another smash. And this is, this is something I have a question for. If you guys can leave me in the comments below, let me know the ruling on it. I, I tried to look it up, but it, I don't think it's too clear. Um, so I played a second smash there, and I, was I able to target Commander Ramiel even though he is already, uh, already stunned? Or would I have had to stun a different creature? My opponent allowed me to just target the same creature again, but I'm just curious now looking at this after the fact. So we got a life web there uh, from Untamed on the right, played for the Amber. He does get an additional, or he does steal two, uh, because I did play three or more creatures last turn, as you see the three Robinar creatures out there. We got a Snuffle Gator and a Niffle Ape on the board now, and we got a Cooperative Hunting dealing three damage, however he sees fit, based on him having three creatures. He puts one damage per creature on each of my Robinar creatures. So now I'm a little scared thinking a save the pack is coming out of Untamed, or he can uh, destroy all damaged creatures. I believe that one is. I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure. And then you'd gain three chains for that. Yeah, save the pack. Destroy each damaged creature. Gain one chain. I think we have Snuffle Gator there. Gets smashed by the troll. And we get Smash smashing the Niffle Ape. Get rid of his good fighting creatures. I think at this point I, I realized save the pack might have been coming. So I thought, eh, just throw some more damage on my guys. Fight. I don't want him leaving creatures around that don't have damage on them yet. So at least this way I just smash them off the board beforehand. It looks like I reaped with the last smash there. Putting myself at 5 Amber. He is in check with 7. I throw down an unguarded camp. Gain an Amber. I have 2 excess creatures. So now I can capture two Amber and put one on one on each creature, I feel like. And I'm going to do it again, gain another Amber, take two more. And just one per creature I'm allowed to put on here, so it has to be separate targets. And it looks like the troll gets doubled up there. Now at seven Amber, and he is not in check anymore. I maybe should have saved that other unguarded camp there. Now looking back at this. Uh, but I used anger there. Ready and fight. The middle smash there. He dies. Gets rid of Commander Remuel. And put myself at 8 Amber. Uh, 
So I've cleared my opponent's board. Now let's see what he has. So we got Big Twig coming in. He can only fight stun creatures, and when he reaps, he stuns and exhausts the creature. And Vagary's going to heal my troll just so he can gain an extra amber off that, so he gets two amber for the card, which is not too shabby at all. And that's all he's going to do. He's sitting at five, not check. So this capture's definitely slowed him down there. So I purge Big Twig with my own harder that they come. And we almost forgot to forge a key there. Thanks to Alfredo for the reminder. Has to happen. I'm a dummy. Got excited there. So first key forged. Got two amber left. And Sequis is coming into play. He's got the reap capture one. And then I have my own inspiration. I'm going to ready Sequis. Sequis. Sorry. <laughs> if I'm saying that right. And he's just going to reap and capture one. And now three amber halfway to my second key. And my opponent now named Shadows. Bad Penny in play. It's going to Pawn Sacrifice. Great combo. Gets an Amber off of Pawn Sacrifice. Sacrifice is Bad Penny. She goes back to hand. Now you can do three damage to two different creatures. But neither of them are... None of them are actually close to dying yet. So I'll just... He does three on the Troll. Three on Smash. And Dusk Runner gives Reap Steal one to Nexus there. Nexus has that reap ability. You can use an opponent's artifact as if it were your own, I believe. And now I'm going untamed. i got a troll there. I have more creatures with Flaxia. She's going to come out and give me two amber for that off her playability. A dust pixie. Two amber just for playing it. And here we go. Uh, cooperative hunting. i got five creatures out there, so I'm going to be able to deal five damage. Get around some of that elusive. So Nexus is gone. Bad Penny back to hand. And I'm going to do the Dust Pixie for my other damage. So I want her in my discard pile for a possible future regrowth. So I'm at 7 with check. Ready for my second key. Alfredo still hasn't uh, got to his first yet. But he is playing Shadows. It is an Archon tournament. I'm assuming he's got lots of steel in that deck. Or maybe I think we see Miasma there in his hand. That's also another opportunity to slow me down but it's got to add some steel with that to get me off of forging the following turn he's gonna go shadows we got an umbra bad penny and miasma puts him on check he's at six amber so i have to skip my forge key step here Now, can I get him off forging his first key to delay him another turn and return the favor there? And maybe stop him from stealing some amber in the future with Umbra, who's the fight steal one ability and skirmish. So I'm going to reap with the troll, get another amber. He heals three off himself. Need to keep that troll nice and healthy. Don't want that two amber sitting on him to go back to my opponent. At least no time soon. Yeah, so you hear it there. I, I want to fight with my Brobnar guys, but it might not be a good idea because they have amber on them and I don't want to give it to my opponent. And I don't really want to reap and get too much amber because if I can't get him off a key, he's going to forge a key. Then bait and switch my face is what I see coming. And I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen here if I remember correctly. I do see it in his hand. And I'm just going to go for it here. Reaping, anger. I just figure I'm ahead on keys. So even if he does bait and switch me, I, as long as I have enough for a key forge on the following turn. And he's not able to steal it from me. I'm fine getting my second key after he's just got his first. We'll close the gap, though. <laughs> so it looks like I... Looks like I fought... Looks like I fought with the troll there to kill Umbra. And he's going to do bait and switch, of course. So we're each going to go to five amber each. 
So that is good. I remember mathing it out in my head trying to think, even if he did bait and switch, as long as he's not ready to forge a key on the following turn, I'm okay with that because I should be able to get to forging a key here. But, of course, he has ways of getting Amber, so that doesn't... That logic doesn't really work out. So, he is sitting at 7. But if can I get him off a key and still forge my own? Let's see. So, yeah, he did get me off forging a key, though, with that bait and switch, which really does suck. So, Raiding Knight coming in, capturing 1. I think I played... I think I played, um, I think Radiant Truth there, uh, just for the Amber, stunning each enemy creature not on the flank, which obviously is no enemy creatures, and Protectrix on the other side, it looks like Sequius Reap there, or Sequus already Reap there and captured one, so I've got him off forging a key again with the capture I have, and Sergeant Ezekiel there readying and fighting with the Radiant Knight, who has armor, and of course, Bad Penny's uh, damage gets blocked there by the armor, but Bad Penny gets destroyed and goes back to my opponent's hand. And I got quite the number of creatures on the board now. And you see with the unguarded camps and the Flaxias, the decks definitely uh, gets really crazy when you do have more creatures on the board than your opponent. So we got a bureaucrat out there who gets uh, two amber generated every time you name House Sanctum. Then we have a Sanctum Guardian who's 6 1, uh, Knight in Spirit. He's got Taunt. And then he has Fight Reap ability. Swap Sanctum Guardian with another friendly creature in your battle line. And Alfredo doing a good job there, putting the Sanctum Guardian a little up on his battle line to show that he has Taunt. So last turn was just getting my opponent off forging a key. I still didn't get to it. And uh, this looks like I'm going Sanctum again. So that's 7 Amber. Doesn't look like I have any Sanctum in hand. All untamed. Ready to pop off for my third key with all my untamed Amber. With this many creatures on the board, i got to name factions that I have more guys on the board get use out of them. And use them to hurt my opponent's board and try to just gain amber and keep my opponent locked down. So here's another issue that came up, and I believe we ruled it wrong. Protectrix can't choose and heal. He can choose and heal a creature that has no damage, but that doesn't count as healing if you heal no damage. So you can't do the rest of his ability. Uh, my opponent allowed it here and told me that was the way it worked, but I'm pretty sure it was wrong. But you guys can let us know in the comments below. And then people watching this video in the future can learn from our mistakes. But I'm pretty sure you can't use Protectrix like that. He actually does have to heal for them to not take damage. So I think I played the Sanctum event that after a creature fights, they capture one. After a friendly creature fights, they capture one. So that's what I did there to get one Amber. But obviously that last guy that fought there didn't died, so he's not going to get any Amber. Off that and capture it because he is in the discard pile. So looks like I'm sitting at eight amber. Pass it over to my opponent's turn. He's at three. Lots of amber on my creatures. Does he have a board wipe or a way to fight me and get it off? Every time he puts out a creature that I think can fight me and get it off, I fight that creature and get it off the board. That's that's my game plan here in this game. And I'm not away, afraid to throw away a creature that doesn't have Amber Capture on it just to keep a creature with Amber Capture on it safe. So we got Bad Penny and Pawn Sacrifice again. That combo coming out. Bad Penny going back to hand. Pawn Sacrifice. Three damage to two different creatures. One goes through on that creature with armor. So he blocks two of it. But now he's exposed. He's three away from dying. He's debating where to put the other three. I think it's a Sequus there. That's three amber on it. Now has no armor. Has one damage. Probably would throw it on the troll. He's going to throw on Protectrix. And Bad Penny's in play. He's going to sacrifice the Sigil to use the Bureaucrat. 
who is going to fight for three. And of course, that's what he needs to get Sequus off the board. And he has three of his Amber back that I captured from him earlier. And he's now in check. I'm now forging my second key. Took a lot longer than you think, but uh, with shadows across the board, that's how it works. But I think I'm doing a pretty good job with the capture I have in the deck. I don't have any loss, I don't think, or any steal. Uh, so I'm doing the best I can with the capture to slow my opponent down. And looks like I threw a Dust Pixie in there. So we're going untamed. Got two more Amber at four. Do I have a way to press my third key already? Right before he's about to forge his second. So Way of the Wolf gets another Amber. So I'm at five. I throw it on the Troll. Troll's great to have Skirmish on. So he hits with that eight. And you want to kind of keep him alive with all the Amber on him. Ancient Baron to play. Niffle Ape to play. And Regrowth, one Amber. Probably go get that Dust Pixie or the Fuzzy Gruen. That were... S oh no. Fuzzy Gruen is, uh, is purged. So it will be the Dust Pixie that I killed earlier with the Cooperative Hunting to plant in my discard pile. And the great thing with this deck is if you can't plant it, sometimes you just get stuff planted from Regrowth uh, using the uh, Sound the Horns or whatever it is from Brobnar where you start discarding your deck into your discard pile. So that's a way sometimes you can seed some of those creatures in there without your opponent doing it for you or yourself so i'm now sitting at nine amber he's forged his second key but he has not enough steel or capture or anything to get me off that final key so that's it so i push it through there that's the last game of the tournament i did go undefeated at this tournament still came in second we didn't do enough rounds to find a definitive winner so uh my buddy jeff levac uh from my meta also went undefeated and won so both of us went undefeated that was a great tournament thanks to torchlight for hosting us thanks to everyone for watching more keyforge coming up see you in the next one